It seems not only Shu province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I could see General Yuan's star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many, and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds, but his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Forces have taken the Yanjin Fort. <laughs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chao. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what do the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. <laughs> Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Aman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what the hell is <laughs> Two. Nah, come on. Watch. It is 
Two brothers share a single destiny. That is why I will send you to him shortly enough. Nice. Lots of loot. Magnificent. <laughs> now we've taken Baima back. Yunchang. It's spring. A fine season to set out on a journey. <laughs> In Yanjin. Some are saying that Qinlong descended from heaven, and that he has been imprisoned by a human. Can it be that my brother is there? Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? You brought the horse that was tethered in the stable! Red hair! It's alive! It can travel a thousand miles a day. But, it is said that it chooses its master. Should have expected nothing less. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yun Chang. Without fail, I, Gwen Yu, shall repay this favor someday. <clears throat> I hear Yan Jin Fort is already a den of demons. Will you lend Yunchang your aid? <laughs> 